What does the landscape of high school look like in the United States in 2023? This is a question that merits thoughtful reflection. Today, we will explore this topic, drawing from recent articles and news stories from credible sources like the New York Times and CNN. The Learning Network, a platform dedicated to supporting educators and students, has compiled a robust collection of news and feature stories that delve into various aspects of high school education and teenage life. This collection, a treasure trove of over 75 articles, covers an array of topics. These range from exploring the purpose of school, understanding different learning styles, examining the impact of identity on learning, to the unique aspects of individual schools and the curriculum. The collection also delves into recent issues faced by school communities, the crucial role of physical and mental health in learning, and the effects of the pandemic on education. An interesting facet of this collection is the focus on standardized testing and its implications for learning. These resources, free to access, offer a comprehensive view of what high school is like in 2023. In other news, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices has unanimously voted to include COVID-19 vaccines in the recommended immunization schedules for both children and adults starting in 2023. However, this does not make the vaccines mandatory. The decision to require vaccines for school entrance remains at the discretion of state, county, and municipal levels. In fact, in at least 20 states, COVID-19 vaccines are explicitly banned from being included in school mandates. This raises the issue of vaccine hesitancy among parents, a concern that is not new and has been exacerbated by the politicization of COVID-19 vaccines. Drops in vaccination coverage for routine vaccines during the pandemic is a concern, and school vaccine mandates can help improve compliance. The responsibility for enforcing vaccine mandates falls to the education system, and practices vary by state. On a final note, the cost of college education looms large on the horizon for many high school students. With the average all-in cost for undergraduate students totaling nearly $28,000 for public four-year in-state students, the financial burden can be significant. However, strategies such as earning college credit through dual enrollment in high school, filling out the FAFSA, attending in-state schools, considering community college for the first two years of college, applying for scholarships and utilizing military service benefits can help students manage these costs. In summary, the high school landscape in 2023 is a dynamic one, shaped by a myriad of factors including curriculum, standardized testing, the impact of the pandemic, vaccination policies, and the looming cost of college education. As we navigate these complexities, it is crucial to continue the conversation and work towards ensuring a high-quality, inclusive, and equitable education for all.